Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in the last week or so, some of you may have seen that there was a new PlayStation State of Play. And within that, uh, we've got some more details about Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. So I thought I'd just go through a bit of it because I'm a huge fan of the Arkham games that came out over the last decade. And at times this has been called a sequel to Arkham Knight. In this video it's called an extension of the Arkham universe but basically it takes place in that world and it's meant to be set about five years after the events of Arkham Knight and the reason I'm kind of going through this is because the thing that made Arkham games so unique was that they really succeeded in making you feel like you were Batman like whether the, it was the gadgets, it was the gameplay, the look of the game, it was everything, you know, you could, when you were playing as Batman, you could be stealthy, you could stay in the shadows, sit on top of gargoyles and just plan your kind of plan how you're going to take down a room full of enemies. Or if you had that aggressive, proactive uh, style of play, you could just jump down in the middle of the room in between 10 enemies and just take them all on and, you know, connect all your combos up and get a high score. Uh, the gadgets were great. You had the classics, the bat grapple, the batarang. Um, I said the grapple gun, the kind of bomb spray that he had. Um, the the cape to obviously glide around and all of that. So those games really succeeded because they made you feel like you were playing as you were Batman in terms of the gameplay. And looking at this, this uh, video that was released to promote Suicide Squad... I just don't really understand what kind of game it's going to be. So all four characters are going to have their own different mode of traversing around the map, which is obviously similar to Gotham Knights that came out uh, late last year. All of those four characters had their own different ways of traversing around. The world looks pretty cool, looks kind of a bit empty but I guess maybe that's what it's meant to be because Brainiac's taken over but um and then over here you kind of see Deadshot which is kind of cool he he can kind of hover off his jetpack in midair which is cool and in this game he can also hover with his jetpack in super precise and then sniper rifles assault rifles and pistols and they all fit with his sort of the fantasy of playing as Deadshot as this master assassin so they promote that Deadshot has his sniper rifle, assault rifle, and pistols, and goes into the fantasy of playing as him as an assassin and all that. So that's cool. We all know Deadshot loves his guns, etc. But then what we'll eventually see is that all of the four characters play like Deadshot. But you want team any point in space. And so now get they're hyping up the whole traversal and hyping up about how you can use it to... to uh, link into your combo attacks and stuff, which I think could be quite cool. But then all of this gunplay is what's thrown me off a little bit. Get up close. Dodge around in mid-air, take out the enemies and then scarper because he, he doesn't want to stick around. Don't worry, guys. I'm here. In a battlefield that's constantly... It just comes across weapons, like... All your different weapons, your guns, there's your guns. loads of fodder type enemies and you're just going to be shooting at them non-stop like that was pretty cool gameplay is the variety so there's six core types of weapon families we've got assault rifles smgs sniper rifles shotguns miniguns and pistols there's added variety so pretty much every type of gun except a rocket launcher but yeah cool weapons there's armor tech weapons later on in so Six types of gun types, gun modes, and then you can get loads of skins for them, which, you know, I get. His buffs in the game. So I just think that when uh, when I look through the kind of yeah. gameplay and footage, and I don't feel like I'm seeing awesome a superhero, super so villain game. I feel like I'm almost watching, like, the division type gameplay but with dc skins and that's not a slight at the division because that looks like a very good game but i just didn't think i was going to get some kind of shoot em up shooter looter as people call them and then i want to show you one menu screen which i think is just going to give you possibly going to give some of you just nightmares each character has a power level in the game that we call gear score as you look at this i mean this is just 
This is going to give us give me nightmares. I mean, DPS damage per shot, I presume. Damage per hit, critical hit damage, capacity and rate of fire. I get, but this it's going to be one of these types of games. This is like this is what Gotham Knights was like. You would after each encounter, you'd gain like new gear and new equipment, and you'd go to the menu and then like look at which number was more, and then just upgrade to that, and it was just that constantly. So. I presume this is going to be one of those games where also you have six different types of weapons, which you can see you can scroll through here, I think, L2 to R2 and get through. That looks like a shotgun. That looks like a little SMG. I don't know if that's maybe a minigun. Um, so you can have six types of uh, gun weapons. And then what? Each time you do an encounter with an enemy or a level or a side mission, or clear an outpost or whatever it is you're doing in this game, you're going to get new loot and then you're going to upgrade all your six weapons each time. I just, I don't know. This is just not, uh, you know, I wasn't expecting a direct Arkham sequel because I know that's done now. You know, it's been seven, eight years, I think, since the last game. I know they're not going to make another one, at least anytime soon. But this just feels like some like typical third person looter shooter game that just happens to have DC skins. And then looking at this is quite interesting. So up here, the menu options, squad, I guess you can just pick and choose which member of the squad you want to play as. You got the map, obviously you got contracts. Okay, and then you got looks. I don't know like why that would be the first, one of the early options in the menu. Surely loadout's more important and talents. I guess talents is your skill tree. But I think this is going to be a game that, I mean, no offense, probably aimed at kids and just loads of like skins to buy and skins for your weapons and just loads of extra, extra stuff that I think a lot of us probably don't want or need. But um, yeah, this to me is in no way an Arkham sequel and really and truly looking at the way it plays... Um, I don't think this is an extension of the Arkham universe. This just looks like... Yeah, just going to hold down R2. I'm going to float in the sky and just hold down R2 and then just keep shooting at all these enemy fodder. Um, it's also a game that you can play single player as well. You don't need to worry about um, having to play co-op. You have to be. You have to have an online connection all the time when you play, I believe. But when the story is done, your experience doesn't end there. I think that um, the thing I'm really banking on is there's going to be some really cool boss fights against Batman and Superman and lantern and flash etc but um yeah it's you know i'm obviously going to get this because i'm a big dc batman fan and i have loyalty and you know it's a rock steady game but it's just not shaping up to be what i thought it was so yeah Hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments what you think of this new state of play Suicide Squad video that's come out and what, what are your thoughts on the game? Do you think this is something that you're looking forward to or is this perhaps not what you expected, a bit like me? So yeah, please do let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and take care.